Hello everybody, today I'm not going to show you any of my whistles as I used to do but instead of I'm going to make a little tutorial in order to show you how to play Irish track music but in the bohem flute. The bohem flute is a classical instrument and is mainly used to play of course classical music but it can be used to play some other different styles like jazz, or rock, flamenco, many groups use it in, in many different of, in different styles and of course also can be used in, in, in Irish trap music as you can see in some groups. Um, the particularity of this instrument is uh, comparing to, to other flutes like the Irish flute for example or the whistle is the mechanism. It's a chromatic instrument and has a fully, it's fully mechanized like you can see there, for those who are habituated to play bow and flute, this is an obvious thing. But this thing that uh, makes things easier in order to play chromatically and in every tone, it makes things a little bit more difficult in order to play the to apply the technical the technique of the pipe of the or the whistle to the flute because this is too too much things above your fingers and uh, it is more tricky to make the ornaments and articulation as clean as it can be in uh, an instrument without mechanism just holes but anyway it's perfectly possible to do it and apply the, the whistle and the pipe technique here but you need to take care of some things for example the basic uh, technique in the whistle or in the Irish flute or pipe for those uh, flute players that are not really familiarized with that and used to play the bow and flute is uh, to in order to to cut notes in order to separate notes you don't you ever the tongue you can use the tongue but also you need to use the fingers in that way once you have a note for example e you need to use the note below to cut it and a position of note above like this so you have me sorry me is in spanish e there you got different E's using the fingers to cut it and this technique can be applied for every note but here in the bow and flute we have to take care with some things for example if we want to make a normal cut on E like this position is F natural and in the, in the Irish flute and the whistle it is F sharp we need to use this position that is the F sharp trill in the bow and flute instead of this because like that is gonna sound minor and we want to sound it major like that you see you also have to take care with making rolls in B note because if you move too much this thumb compromise the stability so you want to make rolls on B it is possible but it sounds minor because you are using C natural and could be used like that this is major and you are using this down up down up down up down up you can apply this technique in all notes Another tip to take care about it is the position of the mouth. On the Irish flute, I've seen many Irish flute players that used to, to do this, this technique in order to really focus in the air down and make the hole a little bit small in order to get the sound with a lot of overtones like this. sounds air and it sounds a lot of overtone that's the, the style of playing Irish music in an Irish fluid but I think that it can be also very beautiful to play Irish track music in our way the, the way of, of classical that is making the sound a little bit more open and more brilliant like this Not making a lot of overtones, just playing with an open sound, it is possible too. So I don't want to talk anymore because I'm talking too much, but uh, I would like to show you an 
some example of how to play some Irish tunes, I play in Irish music technique in the bow and flute, and I'm going to play some a little set of jigs. I don't remember the name, just the first one it is Austin Bartlett called, I think. And the two first are in A Dorian and the second and the no the third and the sec and the third and the fourth are in G Mixolydian, I think. Anyway, I will let you uh, hear it and you can discover how it sounds Iris. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 